Our next guest is wrapping up eight years in the Missouri Legislature. Joining us is Representative Jeff Grismore. I'm Jill Jensen, and we're coming to you at the World War I Museum. Welcome. Hi, Jill. Thanks for having me. Well, you're going to term out in January, and you're looking back, and how does it feel? You know, it's a bittersweet. Uh, you know, it's, it's been fantastic to be in a position to help so many people. I mean, a lot of people say, what's the best part of the job? And I say it's always been able to help get people funding and services that couldn't get it. And we've handled hundreds of cases like that, constituents and people from around the state over the years, so that's been great. Well, you've held some really um, very important chairmanships on the House Committee of Disability Services, on the House Committee of Children, Family, and Persons right. with Disability. What are you most proud of of the work out of just that? Well, you know, there's really one thing that I can point to among many that, that is really fantastic. Back when I came in office eight years ago in 2007, I started trumpeting the goal that Missouri could eliminate the waiting list for in-home services for persons with developmental disabilities. And eight years ago, it stood at over 5,000 people. With the budget we passed this year, the waiting list for in-home services for persons with developmental disabilities will be zeroed out. We are the first state in the nation that has eliminated an in-home waiting list for developmental disability services, so it's a huge milestone. How do you even do that? Well, it was a team effort. Uh, certainly the governor and his leadership, he came up with the idea of the Partnership for Hope along with uh, a collaboration and partnership between uh, developmental dis disability providers at the county level, the Department of Mental Health and their Division of Developmental Disabilities are, uh, you know, partners in the General Assembly on the House and Senate side. And, you know, I have always pushed the, the notion that individuals with disabilities should be among those that receive the first portions of government funding and the highest priority, and that led to the creation of the Disability Services Committee in the House. Uh, we have uh, invested over almost a half billion dollars, nearly $500 million for persons with disabilities, physical, developmental, mental health disabilities, just in new decision items over the last eight years. So there, there's a greater priority and focus on both sides of the aisle, and it's a very bipartisan effort. Well, and that's probably really important when you, with, you're going to be gone. The champion's going to be gone. So is the work going to be able to continue? Well, very much so, because we have other champions. We have uh, guys like Tom Flanagan, who will probably be the chair of the House Budget Committee, Sue Allen, who chairs Appropriations for Health, Mental Health, Social Services, and there, Mike Serpoy, the Assistant Majority Floor Leader. They're all very much on board as, as champions that continue to carry the torch for persons with disabilities. So what's you going to miss the most? You know, again, being able to help people get funding and services that they can't, couldn't get, and we've been able to do that for a lot of folks, but being able to make a difference to help those that can't help themselves. When I ran for office, I told them, if it can expand my ability to, to help those that can't help themselves, uh, vulnerable seniors, at-risk women and children, folks with disabilities, you know, that's really been a blessing to be able to make a difference for them. And I hope to continue to do that in the for-profit and non-profit sectors as well. Well, I guess that's a good segue. We have about 30 seconds left. What's next for Jeff Grismore? Well, you know, if I had my druthers, I'd like to start a nonprofit to focus on caring for vulnerable persons internationally and around the state and nationally, as well as do some contracting and consulting and possibly some lobbying for vulnerable persons. But again, my passion is to help those that can't help themselves. And so I hope to continue to be able to focus on that. Well, certainly we can see you doing that kind of work and we wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you, Jill. All right. Appreciate it. That's all the time we have.